Okay, welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're talking about how much do digital nomads earn, right? How much money do they make? What's their income, salary, that sort of thing? And this is really an important question to think about if you're considering becoming a digital nomad because, you know, you need to know what you're in for, what to expect, and, you know, you need to know that you're going to be able to afford to actually travel around the world as a nomad, right? Uh, but unfortunately, the answer to this question isn't as simple as that. It's, it's really quite... Uh, it's subjective, it depends on the person and what skills they have, what businesses they have, and how they've set things up, you know, their finances and that sort of thing. So really, your, you know, your income as a digital nomad can be anywhere from, I'd say, $500 to $500,000 a month. And it really depends on what specific thing you're doing. Say, say if you have a website, right? And on that website, you sell an ebook, okay? Now, that is a good system because an unlimited amount of people can buy that ebook. You could sell a million copies and make a lot of money, but you could equally you could sell none and make nothing and make no money, right? So that's one system. That's a uh, an unlimited sort of potential system. There's an unlimited potential for earnings because an unlimited amount of people around the world can buy your ebook. The limited amount, you know, the limited. Uh, way of earning money as a nomad is to do things which involve your time so anything that's freelance any any sort of service that you provide like writing web design coding um you know replying to emails this is this is limited in in the sense that you can only work a certain amount of hours in each day so the amount you can earn is always limited based on how much you charge for one how much you charge per hour and how many hours you can work in a day so the two things are limited, but you know, with, with one of them, with the one where you charge for your time, hopefully you'll always have time and you can always make money that way. So really it's just a case of finding clients. Now I'm not going to say which way is more secure. What I'm going to say is the best digital nomads, the ones that earn, I would say the most money and are the most stable are the ones that have a mixture of both passive income from either eBooks or digital products that can be leveraged and sold a lot of times and active income, which comes from freelancing service, you know, providing services and doing active work. It could even be bartending at, in the country that you've traveled to. It doesn't really matter. The point is you have, on the, one, on the one hand, you have active income where you sell your time or your services. And then on the other hand, you have passive income where you do the work once, hopefully before you start traveling, uh, you know, build it up to the point where it can sustain you. And then you get paid over and over again for life. So the the amount you can earn really depends um but as a nomad you know traveling around the world you might actually not need that much money anyway okay so if it's especially if you're traveling into places like asia maybe thailand i know that's a, a cliche with digital nomads now go to chiang mai and thailand but it really is quite cheap and affordable and so you might not even need more than say 800 to a thousand dollars a month to be able to live a really quite nice exciting life out there it really depends what you want to do. If you want to stay in, you know, five-star hotels and apartments and with great views of the beach, then obviously that's going to take a lot more money. But if you are happy just with a small studio apartment, maybe on the outskirts of the city, then that's a lot more affordable. So I'm sorry I couldn't give you a, you know, a more concise answer because there really isn't one. Uh, it depends on what you do, how you have income coming in to your life and your business and where you go. Um, I would say that as a benchmark and a sort of rule of thumb, I wouldn't be trying to be a digital nomad if I was earning anything less than $1,000 a month, uh, from anywhere that is, obviously, either passively or actively, it doesn't matter, as long as you're earning about $1,000 a month. Obviously, you can do it on less, but I would say that to be comfortable and secure and stable and happy and safe, whatever the you know adjectives you want to use, you sort of need to be... Um, earning a thousand dollars a month just so that you have that that safety net and you don't run out of money don't run into much trouble so that's it really guys if you haven't subscribed already please do and check out my other video it, it might be in the related videos section uh, on passive income for digital nomads uh, or how to become a digital nomad and i'll see you next time